Hey girls and guys and welcome to this week's weekly roundup. In this week's show I'm going to talk about dolphins swimming in pollution, a water parks getting sued, more pool closures and of course my weekly shout outs. So let's get straight into the news. Art Deco Pool, so an Art Deco masterpiece has finally opened its doors to the public. Piscine des Amru, I probably did not pronounce that right, anyway, uh, closed two years ago for a 16 and a half million euro restoration, where restorers painstakingly reconstructed the pool back to its original design. When you step through the pool doors, it's like going back in time to the 1930s. And the eye for detail is amazing. The pool has two storey balconies and 164 cabin doors, which of course have been restored back to their original green colour. The whole reason for the restoration uh, was really for two reasons. So the first is so that they, the history of the pool can obviously be preserved and obviously shown off. But also the second reason was to increase the number of public pools in the area in Paris. So it's a win-win for everyone. New Olympic Pool, a planning application has been submitted for a new 50 metre swimming pool on the outskirts of Coventry. This comes as some hopeful news as the local pool is set to close its doors very soon. If planning goes ahead, the plan is to have the pool open by 2019. So fingers crossed that the planning gets approved soon so they can start building it in the new year. So swimmers don't miss out of, you know, too long after the local pool closes. More pool closures, so school run swimming pools in Norwich have received a warning that there could be possible closures ahead. A lot of the pools are under poor construction and need a lot of maintenance. So the council are now looking at the pools to see which they could possibly close down. Uh, the council reports say that they're looking at potentially closing 10 normal pools and 20 pools that are on school sites. That's a lot of pools. And why are they doing this? For health and safety? To improve the quality of the existing pools? Nope, just budget cuts. Simple, plain budget cuts. Pool closures are now becoming a regular scene in the swimming world and it's getting worse each week. Companies are also taking advantage of this so they're hiking up the prices in private pools. So swim education is suffering and also our pockets are too. Something needs to happen there. Dolphins swim in pollution. So early this Tuesday, half a dozen dolphins were spotted swimming through a rather large patch of pollution in the waters of Brixham's Berry Head. The pollution was roughly said to be around about 20 feet long and six meters wide, and it flowed right through the path of the local dolphins. An investigation is now underway to see what caused the spill, but for something that, 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 that is that big, put my teeth in Sean, um, it must have happened in the early hours on Tuesday. A team is also keeping an eye on the dolphins to make sure that they haven't been affected by the pollution as well. Water park being sued. On May 27th, the son of Susanna Jones went down a new water slide called Emerald Plunge at a new water park in Dublin. After gliding down 48 feet, he hydroplaned up the side of uh, the half pipe and actually landed on the lip and stayed there. It's pretty dangerous. What happened was, is at the bottom of the 48 foot drop, he hit the cement and that skidded him to a stop within the, within the flume. So a lawsuit has now been put ahead for two and a half million pounds um, and it's now been filed by the boy's parents and the legal procedures have now started. So what could this mean? Well, if found guilty, the park will no doubt be closed permanently and the likelihood of a company opening up another water park around that area will be very slim. But this also does mean that tighter regulations hopefully will apply to when it comes to water parks, which is always a good thing. Have you seen our latest video, Five Cringeworthy Swim Parents? Do you know a parent just like that? It dropped on our YouTube channel on Wednesday, and if you haven't seen it already, you should totally go check it out. Okay, so this week I have two shout outs. The first shout out goes to Valentina Dumont for breaking the national record in the 200 free at the first women's event in the Belgian short. And the second shout out goes to Catherine Greedslade for smashing the 200 freestyle event and the 200 meter backstroke at the BUCS short course champions. And that's it for this week. I hope you've had a great, I hope you have a great weekend, should I say, and I'll see you next week for another roundup.